The title of it is Prom, Prince, and Princess Dancing. Uh, it was taken in Lyons, Georgia in 2011. And the reason why I chose this picture is it's incredibly symbolic for me. Um, and the story really began in 2002. Um, I got a phone call in 2002 from an editor that worked at Spin Magazine and he said he had just received a letter from a very brave girl. Um, she wrote a letter to the editor, it was really a cry for help, saying that, um, please come to my town, please come tell the story. Um, you know, I, we have segregated proms in our community and I'm white and my boyfriend's black and I can't take him to my prom. So the editor said, we have to go do this story. And I said, I'm, I will be on the next plane there. Um, since then, the prom had passed, but the next segregated event was homecoming. And I um, first went to Montgomery County, Georgia in, in the fall of 2002 and photographed the segregated homecomings. Um, that was an assignment, but I knew that my work there had really just begun. And I kept returning because I was haunted by this town. That day, what seemed so foreign to me and what seemed like something I only read in history books, maybe because I was you know, a naive northeastern white girl, but I didn't know that things were still happening like this in our own country at the time. So I knew I needed to keep returning. And um, I, I received a lot of resistance and was chased out of town many times. Um, and finally in 2009, there was a very brave class, graduating class, and there were students that decided that they needed to speak out. And, um, you know, me over the years, many students tried to integrate the proms, but it was never successful. And um, there was always resistance uh, from the adults. So finally in 2009, the class of only 88 students said, we are gonna make a change. And um, I remember the black students saying to me, please, can you promise that this isn't gonna be published until we graduate? Because really speaking about this, they were, they were so filled with fear that it would prevent them from matriculating. So that's how, that's how real and intense and scary this was. So um, on, I remember it was May 1st, 2009, um, I attended the white, the white folks prom, as they called it, at the Vidalia Community Center. And um, I was soon kicked out with the black students of that same graduating class. And the pain that I felt for these students was, is so indescribable, um, I, I just, it, it was just shocking, and they said, oh, oh, that's normal, this is, this is what we're used to, this is tradition. And then I attended the prom the next night, the black folks prom, May 2nd, at the exact same community center, and I was welcomed with open arms. So when the, when the piece was published, there was thankfully national outrage, and um, the proms were forced to integrate the next year, and I decided that I needed to, you know, be at that first integrated prom. So the, ne the following year, I knew that I was uh, very unwanted by many families. Um, they were very angry that I had exposed a secret that they wanted, you know, to a tradition that they wanted to continue. And um, I went in front of the school board, teachers, uh, students, and parents to explain that I was there to, to document and really share the story of a, a town going through changes. And I cared about the students deeply, and I wanted to be there. So they, they voted that I could attend. And um, then when I was in the parking lot, you know, interviewing students and making my first images, I was handcuffed and taken off the property. So for me, this image is incredibly symbolic because finally, in 2011, I was told 
that students, you know, I, I got to know all the students very well, and I was told that the students are taking matters into their own hands, finally, and they're not going to let the parents dictate if I can or can't come. So I was finally allowed to attend the, the second integrated prom. Um, it was very bittersweet, though, because um, a few months prior, one of the students, uh, a graduating student from Montgomery County High School, a young black boy, was shot and killed by an older white man in the community. So although it felt triumphant that the proms were integrated, there was um, a real tragedy that happened in the town, and it went completely unreported at the time. So this to me is a very bittersweet picture, but it's very symbolic. Um, and, and it's amazing because it shows, it shouldn't be a subculture. You know, it shows, that's, that's the thing that's so crazy to me, like that I'm using this picture to represent a subculture. But this picture couldn't have been made years ago in this town. So I celebrate this picture because these are kids that fought for something they wanted and they finally got it. So. <laughs>